Hello my friends. Welcome back to Raleigh Art Studio and Art with Ms. Little. Um, today we are going to learn how to draw a facial portrait. Why don't you take a quick look at this picture? I bet everybody's seen that before. That's the Mona Lisa. It's probably one of the most famous portraits of all time. Um, but regardless of who you're drawing or who you're painting, it all starts the same way. So this lesson is going to be called Facial Equality. I'm going to take Mona Lisa down. Actually, no, I'll leave her up for a minute. Um, facial Equality. Why am I saying that? The reason I'm saying that is we're going to start drawing our face almost in a scientific method because everybody's face is designed equally. So before we get started, like I always do, we're going to say an I am statement. Now, normally we choose a positive affirmation, which is an adjective, an I am adjective. Um, today we're going to eliminate that adjective, and we're just going to focus on I am, because we all are. So sit up nice and tall. Believe it. Breathe it in. I am. Breathe it in. Hold it. And release it. That makes me feel good. I am. Breathe it in. Hold it. And release it. One last time. I am. Breathe it in, hold it, and release it. I'm going to now take Mona Lisa down. I'm going to show you something I did earlier. I started drawing a portrait, and I always divide my face into certain segments because everyone's face is actually divided into a scientific method almost. So I left my lines up so that when I'm explaining all of this, before I start drawing it for you, you can understand what I'm talking about. So the first thing I want you to do when you get your paper and pencil, I want you to draw the shape of a face. Now I have a question for you. I'm going to show you a picture. I love this picture. I hope you can see it. I'll hold this up. What do you see? You see eggs, right? All right, I see eggs too. And what I notice is these eggs are all eggs. They're all exactly the same shape, but they're different colors. Some have freckles, some are brown, some are white, some are in between, some are yellow, some are blue, some are peach. But every single one is the shape of an egg. And if you crack that egg open inside, each one will be the same thing. It's just like us. We're all basically the same. We are. Breathe it in again. I am. Hold it. Release it. So, we're going to start with the shape of an egg. I'm going to put a new paper up. Actually, no, before I put a new paper up, I'm going to explain the, the science behind it. And then I'm going to put my paper up. Let me show you what I'm going to show you to do. I'm leaving this here, but I'm going to put my paper over it in a minute. I started with drawing the oval, the egg. Our faces are oval, egg-shaped. They're wider at the top, narrower at the chin. I then drew a line right down the middle. And you can draw that middle line first if you want to, because our faces are equal on both sides. Then I drew a line right across the middle this way. Half and half, because our eyes are right in the center of our head. Then I drew a line halfway between the eyes and the chin, right here. That's where our nose is. Then I drew a line a third the way down, which is where our mouth is. And as I work my portrait, I'm going to explain to you 
how everything about our face is divided equally. So I want you to maybe stop this every once in a while and take some notes because each time you draw a portrait, if you're drawing it straight on like this, you want to use these lines of division. It'll always turn out right. Okay, so let's get started. Now I am going to get a piece of paper, put it right on top of mine, and tape it up. And we are going to draw the shape of an egg. I can kind of see this behind it. I'm going to start with a line of symmetry. I'm going to draw darker than you're going to want to. Now remember, when you're drawing these lines, draw them very light because they're only reference lines. You want to erase these later. I'm going to draw a reference line right down the middle. I'm drawing mine darker so you can see it. Draw yours lighter. Then I'm going to draw the shape of my egg. It's going to be, I'm drawing soft again and kind of sketching it. And I want it basically the same on both sides. So it's equal. If it's not perfectly exact, that's okay. Our faces aren't perfectly equal, but they're pretty close. So there's my oval with my line of symmetry. The next thing I'm going to do is divide this in half and draw a line right across the middle here. Now I tell my students in school, because they sometimes draw their, their eyes way up in their forehead, I tell them to do a little experiment and to put their finger right on top of their head, on the top, that's where your, where your face starts, and then put your thumb right between your eyes and take that dimension and move it down between your eyes and your chin. See, that's halfway. So we just have our halfway line now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is divide this space in half again. Because that's where the nose is going to be. I'm just going to sketch a little line right across there. The first thing we draw are the eyes. Now, if I were to show you this image behind this paper, I want to explain something to you again. Our eyes are equal distance apart, and if I were to cut out this eye, there would be five. Look, there's my distance. There's one, two, three, four, five. So you don't want the eyes real big, you don't want them real little. It's kind of challenging there, isn't it? I'm going to put this back up. And we're going to see if we can sketch out an eye that could be equal five times. So let's see. We'll draw an eye from here to here. So if I did that, it would be one, two, three, four, five. That's about right. I'm going to draw the other one an equal eye apart, about right here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five lines of division. You see that? Now, in our eye we have an iris. The iris is actually perfectly round. So you can draw a round circle now, but we're going to change that in a minute. Right in the middle of the eye. Another round circle, try to keep them the same right in the middle of the eye. But when you look at someone, you don't see a big circle there, do you? No, because we have an eye brow, eyelid that covers it. So I'm going to draw my eyelid covering the top of that. Draw my eyelid covering the top of that circle. And I'm going to draw the bottom lid, cover it, that kind of touching the bottom. That's kind of a sleepy eye. So now I have two eyes. That one's kind of sleepy. Um, inside there, I'm going to draw another big circle. That's the pupil. 
I'm going to leave a white spot in there. I'm not going to cover it up completely. Try to keep them the same. Mine aren't always the same. That's definitely not the same, but that's close enough. Now I'm going to take the iris, that was the original circle, and I'm going to make that really dark on the outside. If you look in the mirror, regardless of the color of your eye, the circle, the, the line right around the colored part of your eye on the outside line of it, the iris is a very dark color. If your eyes are blue, it's a dark blue. If your eyes are green, it's a dark green. If your eyes are brown, it's a dark brown. And I'm going to shade in this part nice and soft. And I'm going from the inside out. Like a spiral. From the inside out. Like a spiral. I'm going to darken the top lid right here because that's where your eyelashes are. So it's going to look a little bit darker. So we have our two eyes right on the center line. The next thing I'm going to do down this center line is right above this line. Remember we did half between here and here. We divided that in half. I'm going to draw just a tiny little curved line here. That's where our nose is. Then I'm going to go on both sides of that. I'm going to draw another curved line in the opposite direction for our nostril. I'm going to go above that and just kind of draw a line around it softly that goes right down to that line we originally drew. So that's where our nose is. And you can draw a really soft line up that way and a really soft line up this way. It's going to be going towards our eyebrow. Now the eyebrows are about the same distance above the eye as the eye is wide. So see how wide the eye is? I'm going to jump up to here and draw an eyebrow. Now if you want this to look like yourself, you might want to look in the mirror and see what shape your eyebrow is because they're all shaped a little bit differently. So again, I'm going to go right up here and draw another little eyebrow. Just kind of sketching it in. Now, this section here is where the mouth is. So about a third the way down, if I divided this into three parts, one, two, three, about a third the way down is the center of our mouth. So I'm going to draw a line right across here. And that's where the mouth is going to be. Now, the way to determine the edges of the mouth, so you don't make your lips too wide or too narrow, is right here where the iris started. Draw an imaginary line down. Right where the iris is, starting closest to the nose, draw a little imaginary line down. This is going to be the edge of our mouth. So right above this line, remember this little dip we did here? We're going to do another little dip just like it. It kind of equals the nose. And then we're going to stretch that out to where this line is on both sides. There's the top lip. The bottom lip kind of is wider, so the top lip's generally a little narrower then the bottom lip. You can make that wider. And there's a shadow on the top lip because of the way it's shaped. So we're going to shade that in just a little bit. Let's smudge it a little bit. So now we have our lips drawn in equally distanced apart. 
See what I meant about the science of the face? They're all equally drawn the same. Next thing we're going to draw are the ears. So right where the bottom of the eyebrow is, I'm going to draw another little line out. Right at the bottom of this eyebrow, I'm going to draw another little line out. I already have the line where the bottom of the nose is. See that? So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to end right here. I'm going to start at the eyebrow and end at the nose. And there's my ear. So we basically now have the shape of the face. I'm going to draw the neck in, and then I'm going to show you how to add some, some shading, some values to make it look like it actually has form and it's not just flat. If you take your pencil again and draw another line of reference from the edge of the eye straight down, that's where your neck is. From the edge of the eye straight down, that's where your neck is. So now we have the basic shape of your face. We're all basically the same. Deep on the inside as well as on the outside. If you want to add some shadowing now, take a soft pencil. You don't want a hard line at the bridge of the nose. You want to just give it a brief little shadow here that goes kind of up into the eyebrow. And then I take my finger and just kind of soften that. Do the same over here. You don't want to go all the way around the eyebrow because of the way that the shape of our skull is. I'm going to go right down here. Shade that in. I'm going to go over this side, give that part of the eye a little bit of shadow, and this part. Just to show the shape of our skull. You can kind of soften this, give yourself some cheekbones if you want. Give yourself a shadow under the chin, around the neck. At this point, you can erase all these wonderful lines you drew in there and add some hair. Mine's a bald. It still looks like an egg, doesn't it? So depending upon what kind of hair you have, mine has a kind of little part in the middle, and I've got kind of cow lips on either side. So I would pull a kind of a part down the middle, and I've got kind of cow lips on either side. So I could pull my hair down like this and up around like this. And draw some hair down. That's what my hair might look like. So there you have the basic concept of how to draw a portrait. Doesn't look like Mona Lisa, but it all started out with an egg. It's really not that difficult if you remember the lines of division. So if you want to go back again as a review, line of symmetry, your egg shape. Divide the egg in half. That's where your eyes are. There are five distances of eyes in here. Draw a line halfway between your eyes and your chin. That's where your nose is. Draw a line a third the way between your nose and the chin. That's where the lip is. Draw a line right at the iris.
straight down. That's the edge of the lip. Draw a line across the eyebrow and across where the nose is. That's your ear. And at the edge of the eye, go down and add your neck. We're all the same. I am. You are. I love you very much. Until next time, my friends, stay well. Believe in yourself. Namaste.